Welcome back. Yesterday, a ceremony was held to see off a company of 90 soldiers from Fort Wainwright. They will spearhead the efforts in the drawdown of soldiers from Iraq and Afghanistan. We have more now in our military report. They stand ready to perform their duty and their families take on the burdens that no one else can ever imagine unless they've done it themselves. At the heart of our nation's defense stands the soldier. It is a legacy deeply rooted in the American history. Family members of the 539th Transportation Company gathered as the soldiers cased the colors in preparation for their nine-month deployment to Kuwait. For many families, this is not their first time saying goodbye. Well, this is his second deployment, and so we're nervous. Um, but we, I mean, we feel confident. My husband and I are both retired Army, and uh, my father was retired from the military. So my whole life has been around the military. So, you know, I've been there, done that. I remember watching my dad go off to Vietnam as a child. So and now I'm watching my son go off. Some spouses and families have been through so many deployments, it's hard to keep up with the numbers. This is our second deployment. No, this is our third deployment, yes. <laughs> Regardless, this spouse says she is Army strong and will hold down the fort in support of her soldier. <laughs> it's just another tour, that's what I can say. Um, be strong, be ready, be prepared for whatever. He has a strong family sitting back at home, so everything's going to be fine. The soldiers as well know their job isn't the only hard one. It's their loved ones they leave behind that they rely on. So she understand um, what I got to do, when I got to do it, when I'm coming back. So it's not, it's not, it's hard, but like I say, it's challenging at the same time. But she's like, been able to, to hold down the household since I've been gone. Finally, there was one last question I had to ask. You know, are you proud of your son? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so proud of <laughs> The Military Report is brought to you by Stanley Nissan. Innovation for all.